Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. All right, links are down below. Every day I wear this Whoopi, people ask me where can I get it. They just restocked. They're live right now. They will sell out. If you want it, jump to the link down below in my description. I'll put it in the pinned comment as well. Don't forget you can get these awesome hoodies. This is the new Sons of Liberty. We also have long sleeve t-shirts, regular t-shirts, all my other guns and gadgets shirts and patches are at that link as well. Go get them, they're gonna be gone. Let's talk about another sheriff who has been selling Second Amendment rights to people, basically. Well, maybe not that blatant, but damn close to it. We're going to San Mateo, California, and Sheriff Carlos Bolanos, who's been sheriff since 2016, he did just lose re-election, but that doesn't matter. It has come out now, after several weeks of investigation by the ABC7, the I-Team, I'll have a link to their, uh, their stuff down below, that the sheriff has been taking care of donors with concealed carry permits. In California, you have to be a resident, you have to take training, you have to give them all kinds of, well, different sheriffs require different things, but most of them require some type of uh, reference, and you have to be of good moral character. They're supposed to get rid of that post Bruin, but the laws haven't been rewritten yet. So that's a gray area. But in San Mateo, California, just like I'll post the video of the other sheriff, old Laurie Smith, who is going to go to prison, hopefully, over her selling uh, or basically wink, wink, nod, nod, you donate to my campaign, I'll issue your concealed carry permit. Well, Sheriff Bolanos is doing the same thing. Three quarters of the people who applied for CCWs in San Mateo County were denied. But if you were a donor to the sheriff's campaign, you were approved at a rate of 88%. If you were not a, uh, a donor to the sheriff's campaign, then you only were approved at a rate of 22%. That's a 4x difference. If you throw a little coin to the sheriff, hope to get elected, pal, then you get to have your Second Amendment permission slip from the man and it's all coming out now and it's looking really bad because now they have whistleblowers for instance people in the office in the sheriff's office have come out and said that they felt pressured to give or to issue these concealed carry permits to the sheriff's friends to the sheriff's donors and to rich and wealthy people it even got worse there were 39 people who were uncovered in this investigation that didn't go to the publicly available uh, training classes that are required for the permit in the sheriff's county. Uh, those people went to a special session that was ordained by the sheriff. Five of those people didn't even have a record of training, and some of those rich, wealthy people, they would show up to the range, shoot a couple rounds, and go home, and the instructors were expected to sign off on it. But it goes even deeper during this investigation. They found out that more than half of the sergeants, lieutenants, and captains that were promoted in the sheriff's office during 2021 and 2022, guess what? Yeah, they were donors donors to the sheriff's re-election as well. This is something that bears watching. You know I'm going to stay on top of it, and I'm going to bring that information to you. And if you think the Second Amendment is more important than some clown who was elected sheriff and is holding your rights above your head as a little, hey, you know what, you want this, then uh, pay the piper. And subscribe to Guns and Gadgets because I'm going to bring you that information every single day as long as there is air in my lungs. Thank you for all of your support. Oh, by the way, in these whoobies, not only do they have the black camo, but they also have some woodland camos. They're going to sell out. Link is down below. Hop to it. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's for. doesn't matter if a sheriff wants to get reelected or not. We don't even need permits, but that's another video. Y'all take care. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.